What is going on guys? This is Garrett and I am back with some more Battlefield 4 gameplay! It's been so long! It's been so long and we got a dude. We're just gonna kill him real fast and there's gonna be dudes right here. And I don't know how I didn't kill that guy. And he killed me. That kind of sucks. Yeah, I have been away. But I wanted to get back. And I am playing actually some free-for-all. Or not free-for-all. No, cancel that. Cross that out. This is Team Deathmatch. I don't even think Battlefield has free-for-all. It'd be kind of a cool game mode, though, if they ever added in. Like, if they were ever to add in just some random game modes like that, free-for-all would definitely be a game mode I think I would really like, and I don't have anything to shoot through that wall there. Um, but yeah, this is some Team Deathmatch. I don't play Team Deathmatch all that much because, frankly, you usually get stuck on a shit team. The spawning's usually kind of effed up on this game. It's, it's overall just not a great experience, so I avoid it as much as I can. But I figured, hey, you never play it, so get on it, play it, and see what happens. I mean, everybody plays Conquest, and everybody plays, you know, Conquest, Rush, all those types of game modes. And I figured, hey, I'm going to mix it up and be different. And play a different one. And we're not doing terrible, and there is a dude over here. Ah. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, his teammate was behind me. I was so focused on his position there. But I think I should be getting advanced warfare, warfighter, whatever it's called, Call of Duty, you know, the typical game. I should be getting that here in the next couple days, and I will be playing that. I'll probably play it a lot. I say I won't, but it's Call of Duty. I mean, when you get one of those games, you have to play it a lot because it sucks you into the fun and death and everything that that game brings. And I just got destroyed up front and close and personal. PP2000, that thing's always killing me. Maybe I'll use that after I get 500 kills with the CZ805. Maybe I will use the PP2000. But like I was saying, um, one thing that I don't understand... Oh, hey, look at, look at that head glitcher. Come here, head glitcher. Come here. Come here, I'm gonna sneak over here and... Look at, look at me, look at me, look at me being stealthy. But one thing I may do in time is I may end up... I don't really know where I was going with that conversation. I think I'm gonna start using the... PP2000 as a gun because a lot of people use it against me and they destroy me with it and there's a dude above me and there's people all around me look at this guy look at this guy holy hell we're gonna use this oh look at us go look at us get give me them tags baby mmm yeah they taste good don't they yeah they do Okay, we're gonna run up here. I think this is where they're spawning at, so I don't want to run out there too much. But then again, I... Oh, hey there, Claymore. Look at me juke out that Claymore. What? God damn it! Damn it! <laughs> Guy came up behind me with that ACWR. But, like, I hope I like... Call of Duty, you know? Because the last one, Ghost, which I think everybody can agree, we were going to switch something on my weapon, I decided not to. I think everybody can agree, Call of Duty Ghost kind of sucked. Um, it was subpar at best. And I mean at best. Like, but, because I mean Black Ops 2 was really fun. The first Black Ops was freaking amazing. Um, I've never really played the Advanced Warfare games. I, uh, I just never got into them. A lot of my buddies played them. Pretty much everybody I know played them. But I myself, I played, you know, all Treyarch games. I didn't play Infinity War games that much. Besides the very first one. The very first Call of Duty was pretty good. The, uh, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare. That one was fun. But then they came out with... I remember when they came out with Modern Warfare 2, and that's pretty much when I started to hate Call of Duty as far as a game, and I think it's not really the game that I hated as much as 
And I guess that guy shot me in the head. I don't understand that. But it was all the cheap stuff. You know, the knifing in there was crazy. The noob tubes were crazy. It was all these n things that came into the game that, to me, made it where the worst players could use the easiest tactics to beat any good player any day. Which, yes, I know as a good player you could use. Not that I was freaking amazing at it. But I know as a good player you could obviously use the same stuff they were using. But it was one of those things where it's like, why even add stuff like that into a game that's supposed to be competitive and take a lot of skill? And there's a lot of dudes over here and we're just going to lob a grenade over there. And I completely whiffed on that grenade, but whatever. That's one reason I play Battlefield so much, because as Call of Duty keeps progressing, they keep on adding these weird things to it that make it easier and easier for people to do well when they shouldn't be doing well. And... It's stuff like that that irritates the shit out of me when I play games like Call of Duty. Because there's people who play Call of Duty who, I know, if we were playing any other game, they would probably never kill me. Um, just because you can see how sometimes they shoot, or they get lucky with the care package and get the best kill streak, and then they kill like 30 people in one match and go like 30 and 2 because they got the best kill streak. So it's stuff like that, and that's why I really, that's one reason I really heavily switched over and started playing Battlefield so much wasn't because I thought, oh, Battlefield's such a better game. It's because, to me, Battlefield took so much more skill, you could say, as far as there is no kill streak. The vehicles are your kill streaks, but if you suck with the vehicles, guess what? Your kill streak sucks. And there is a dude behind us, and I just got destroyed. I hate the freaking smoke on this map. It makes me blinded, and it hurts me. But, yeah. That's really the only reason I play Battlefield so much over Call of Duty. I know the kill streaks make the game more interesting, I guess you could say. As far as, you know, there's tons of explosions and shit that I'm st What the fuck am I- What am I- Oh, match is over. I was stuck on the freaking, uh, piece of- Whatever that was. Sandbags or something. But we won. That's- This is like one of my few team death matches ever in Battlefield, and we- So, I can- I can't complain. Didn't do great, though. Hey, I led the team, though. I'll take it. I'll take that MVP spot. Oh, I guess I didn't get MVP. Gallons of LSD. Well, that escalated quickly. Huh. On to the next one, though. Why stay here and look at this? Ooh, look at... Ooh, look at all these assignments that I've already completed, but they keep on putting in this game that I need to complete. Because for some reason, Battle Log can't pick up on what I've already completed. All right. On to the next match. And the CZ805 is really... Oh, man. I'm getting bored of it, you know? It's, uh, I want to use, like, the PDWs, those close quarter weapons. And, you know, I really want to mix it up, mix up my playstyle. Because right now, um, my main playstyle is I don't even know where anybody spawns on this map. I've never played this on Team Deathmatch. I think I'm running right at the enemy team. I am. Look at me, look at me, hands in the air like it's good to be alive. And I came up behind him. If I had a silencer, I probably would have survived. But that's interesting. Now I know where they spawn. They all spawn pretty much right across the street from us. So that's good to know. Not across the street. I guess down the street. But they need to implement a damn thing where I can spawn on my teammates. And look, there's two dudes right where I spawn. How is it? Okay. So the theories of bad spawning in Battlefield is true. Yeah, so I usually do two gameplays on this. Like these recordings, I usually have two matches in one recording and the reason i do two matches is because i could do one match but the thing is like one match only takes i think the first match on here that i recorded like is the video would only be like four or five minutes long it wouldn't be a very long video and there's a dude over there so and i got destroyed so it's like why only do one video when i can record two matches and the video go from being like seven minutes to being like 12 minutes and then you get double the fun of watching me kill people and get killed. Like, who doesn't like to... I mean, there's a reason people play these games. And it's not because they don't like to watch people die, I guess you could say. So, in reality, I guess everybody's a psychopath. Hmm. Learn something new every day. And can you go on the roof? I'm sure you can. The only reason I ask is because I don't want to run in here and get molested by, like, five or six different people sitting on the rooftops. There's a dude in here, though. He was gonna throw a grenade, I'm gonna respawn my teammate. Oh, he got him. But I'll throw down the health for you. See, I'm more helpful. Um, we're gonna go on the 
he's going to die. Okay, so I don't know where I'm going. There's people on the roof. You know what? We're going to go on the roof. And if we die on the roof, guess what? You guys know my number. Can I has your number? Can I has it? Yeah, I don't know if you guys have ever seen that skit on SNL. But there's a skit. And there's this dude. And he's sitting like on... Okay, I stopped talking there for a second. It gets really weird whenever I stop talking and then I start talking again. Because it's like just random cuts in the audio and it's like I talk but then I don't talk and we just took that freaking rooftop like it was nothing because you be nothing and ooh look there's a dude wait for it come on poke your head up I threw my grenade too far there that's kind of funny that's holy cow I just got destroyed he destroyed my head but anyway there's a skit on SNL and there's this guy, and he's like in a movie theater, and he goes up and sits right next to this girl. And over and over, he's like, can I have your number? Can I have it? Can I have your digits? Anyway, it goes on like for like five minutes. It's really funny. Go check it out. It's not as funny when I say it. So I'm going to stop talking. Ooh, hoo, hey! And I had single shot still on, so I got destroyed there. I got two bullets off. Because I pulled the trigger and held it and just looked at the guy like, Hey, man, how's it going? And got destroyed. Shot in the face. Literally, he shot me right in the face. Even though somehow every single time a headshot gets you in the top right part of your skull every single freaking time. There's still a guy over here, so we're going to put this on auto. Which, why did they even give an option on this gun that I'm using now to have a burst fire mode? Not that I think it's pointless or anything, but it's kind of pointless, you know? Oh, hey, buddy, just hanging out in that doorway, just hanging out waiting until I drive by, so then you can shoot me in the head. TNAX SB2506. I'm getting rolled in this game. I'm 4 and 5, guys. It's not very exciting because I keep dying. That's the only downfall, I guess, to Battlefield, you could say. Is live gameplay is not as exciting as, like, if you watch Call of Duty. Because Call of Duty, like, it's non-stop action-packed, real small maps. Hmm. Where'd the enemy be? Where'd the enemy be? Jeez, my aim's either really off or I'm just getting rolled. I think I'm getting rolled. I think it's a setup. They're setting me up to fail. That's what it is. And but yeah, like I was saying, that's I. That's one reason I think uh, Call of Duty is more interesting to watch. Because I mean, what's more interesting? I mean, everybody likes to watch Call of Duty because it's so fast-paced, so much. Just so much more happening on the screen at one time. And I am getting shot at really hardcore right here. I wish I had a long range scope, but I don't. And this guy, he's got a freaking... He's dropping loads of SD on me. You guys know. But compared to Battlefield, because Battlefield... The live gameplays are still interesting if you like Battlefield. But I mean, it, in Battlefield itself, there's like a lot of like... Like here, I won't even talk, and you guys can just see how much, like, just random downtime there is. Like, here's a guy over here. There we go, guys. There's two kills. Oh, shit. Damn it, I had my pistol out. I don't know what I was trying to do. I don't even know what I was doing when I aimed at that guy. But, yeah, if I didn't talk in between, like, the running, it'd be seriously, like, run, 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 some more running. Stop. Shoot, 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 shoot. Run. Shoot, 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 run. Like, I don't know. I know Call of Duty is like that, but you know what I mean. It's like, it's got all the, like, flashing lights and stuff. It's like a, that song. Flashing lights. Something, something. Something, something. I don't know the song. I don't listen to that music. <laughs> but, you guys get the point. It's a lot more intense. More, more, it's just, it seems like they really make it like, bam, here we go. We're killing some people today. Woo! Compared to Battlefield's like, hey, we're killing some people. Keep it down, though. We're just gonna, we're just gonna kill some people. There's probably gonna be a guy camping in this corner. Hey, buddy. I like how my teammate shoots at me like, we're gonna kill you! You son of a bitch! But it's like, dude, I'm on your team. Oh, hey! 
That's right. Yeah, try to kill me. One. What was my teammate doing up here with that guy and not shooting at him? We're gonna see if we can't get this guy. You, yeah, you yeah, get wrecked. Hey, look at that. Yeah, payback. Payback's a bitch. I don't know how I killed that sniper who spawned right there. I got so lucky. And these, I've realized something right now. These uh, commentaries are so freaking random. And I got an M67 grenade service star. I'm pretty sure that's my first service star with the M67 because I never use grenades. Like, that's no joke. I just don't use any grenades. I don't really use explosives. I, I use pretty much like the standard, like, oh, this is an assault rifle? Okay. And I use that. Like, I use nothing special, nothing crazy, nothing fancy. It's it's pretty boring stuff I use. Mostly, I mean, you can't get super crazy with Battlefield anyway. But I definitely don't branch out and try anything crazy or new. And I got, I just spawned into a cluster in LSD. Shooting me over and over. Three of my kills were to him. I'd be doing a lot better if he wasn't here. I wouldn't be getting loads dropped on me. <laughs> I mean, it's just a... Vicious cycle. You're playing with dudes. It happens, I guess. What are you gonna do? That sounds wrong. Hmm. Yeah. Whoa. Look, see, I keep freaking. I turn a corner and there's like two or three people on me. Compared to. I don't know. I just want one guy. Or if I have two people, let me get like an instant headshot and then turn. And Smoke the dude. Where's my where's my aimbot? I need my aimbot out here. If I had my aimbot, I'd dominate everybody. That's what it is. My aimbot not, must not be working. Yeah, I'm getting wrecked. Those P90s, man. They got like 50 rounds. You can miss with those and still hit people and kill them. And I don't know why I stood up. I should have laid there. Like, my teammate's an idiot, though. Like, you can see the guy on the minimap. But our teammate somehow knifed that guy and then got... Freaked up, man. I'm doing terrible. I've seriously got one kill and three deaths in a row. And I got a nut. What is going on? Am I just getting destroyed? Am I this bad? I may be this bad. I mean, granted, I don't play this as much as I was for, for a little bit. But still. And there's a phase dude in here. What are you doing with the phase tag? I mean, I don't play Call of Duty that much, but I know phases from Call of Duty. And no Call of Duty people will be playing Battlefield. <sighs> I'm letting you guys down. I maybe shouldn't have played this other match, because it's just letting me get destroyed. 15 and 13, I'm at the top of the leaderboard. That should tell you guys something right there. And what it should tell you is, how shitty... Everybody is right now, really, in this match. And I... I could have swore when I ran past that dude. I... Oh, man. Oh, man. That was really bad. I don't, I don't even want to... I'm upset right now about how bad I'm doing. Like, I can't even describe how bad this is. Because I normally don't do this bad. But the last couple times I've played... I've been this bad, so I guess I can't really say I don't do this bad. There's definitely enemies over here. Ha! Ho! Ho! Hi! Noob tubes galore! That's what that's... Man! Team Deathmatch! Is this what it's made of? I don't even know! Oh, our team's gonna definitely lose this match. Probably because, compared to the last match, so I was definitely not the reason my team won last match, but uh, whenever I'm able to go, whenever one match, if I go, you know, 27 and 11 or whatever I went, if you don't do that again, I mean, imagine if I had 10 more kills there. We would have won. But I went 16 and that's... Yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video. That was, that was bad. Bye, guys. Bye.